Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com with a quick look at fades and crossfades in Adobe Audition. This is a tutorial especially for Daniel J. Lewis from the Audacity to Podcast, who has just recently started using Adobe Audition CS6 for the Mac to edit his podcast. You can listen to his podcast at TheAudacityToPodcast.com. First of all, let's start in the waveform view and drag in this sound effect that I have here. Let's listen. Now, if I want to apply a fade in or fade out to that sound effect, it could also be maybe a movie clip or an audio clip that you've recorded on the fly. Just simply drag this gray box and then you can manipulate the fade to be exactly as you would like it to look. You can have it as a hard fade or a soft fade. And once you've done that, it's destructive. It actually changes the waveform. You can do the same on the fade out, again by dragging this gray triangle at the end and manipulating and changing the wave. So once I've done that to the start and end, the wave will sound like this. Hop over to the multi-track and you can employ a similar tactic with your crossfades. So I'll just drag in this sound effect and another sound effect and then zoom in and you can see as I merge those sound effects it's going to do a nice orange crossfade there. Now if I'd like I can manipulate that crossfade by using this triangle here. And that's a brief look at fades and crossfades in the waveform view and multi-track view of Adobe Audition. I hope you found this tutorial handy and if you'd like to know how to do something in Adobe Audition leave a comment in the notes and I'll do my best to make a tutorial for you. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.